Meow, meow. It's August 31, and today in Philippine history, Ramon Alcaraz was born in 1915 in Claridel, Bulacan. Ramon was the son of Domingo Alcaraz and Maxima Abacan. He is the older of two brothers, both of whom became soldiers, and he had a lot of sisters. Ramon entered the Philippine Military Academy in 1936. He was part of the PMA publication called The Corps, and he was also the bantamweight boxing champion in 1937 and 1938. Ramon graduated in 1940 as part of the pioneer class of those who received a four-year bachelor's degree. During World War II, Ramon was promoted to captain by General MacArthur, and he received a silver star for heroism and gallantry in action. After the fall of Bataan, Ramon was captured by the Japanese and held at the Malolos POW camp. They credited Ramon for keeping morale high in the camp because he had a sense of humor. For example, the Japanese required the POWs to say Banzai, which is the Japanese battle cry, during their formation. Ramon told everyone to say Bangkai instead. That is Tagalog for corpse, and the Japanese never knew. After the war, on orders from the then Defense Secretary, Ramon Magsaysay, he went to the U.S. and came back to form a new branch of the Philippine Navy called the Philippine Marines. So he is considered the father of the Philippine Marines. He rose to the rank of Commodore. Ramon clashed with President Marcos over being asked to restrain Navy boats from their anti-smuggling operations, and this led to Alcaraz's early retirement. Since then, he was a staunch Marcos critic. He and his wife, who happened to be a pharmacist, decided to live a quiet life and they opened a business called Commodore Drug. I think there are still some branches around today, especially in Metro Manila. When martial law broke out, Ramon was arrested and released. And he was anticipating that the administration was just going to file false charges against him. Just like what happened to many of those high visibility, high profile administration critics. So he took asylum in the U.S. where he died in 2009. A Philippine Navy offshore patrol vessel was named after him. His diary is also available at the Philippine Diary Project. Oh,